Yo. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Usually I'm doing Pokemon, Valorant, blah, blah, blah on the channel. And I love that, but I wanted to kind of take a step in a bit of a different direction. So over the last year, I've kind of been up and down and back and forth on what I really want to do as a content creator. It's hard to know what niche you want to fill, especially when some of the stuff you do, it totally flops and sucks. And then other stuff you do, it's like great and it works. You're like, yay. So it's kind of hard to really know what, you know, what's your thing. And I was recommended a game called Beginner's Guide by a lot of people, actually. And it's supposed to help you kind of get a different perspective on being someone who creates stuff for others to take in. So I figured, you know, let me give it a spin. Usually I hate self-help stuff because I think it's bullshit to have someone sell you how to be better at living when nobody really has that shit hammered out. I, at least I don't think. So usually I don't care for this stuff, but... Because it's recommended from somebody in the, you know, content creation space, I figured, fuck it, may as well give it a spin. It is a visual novel kind of game, so you can put it on the background and listen. It's going to be kind of a long video, it's like an hour and a half, but I'm going to try and crush it in one sitting. Uh, good luck. But yeah, I'm going to run it through raw and just kind of see what I can take away from it, and hopefully you guys can take away something too. Let's get into it. Also, please like and subscribe, comment on the video, tell me your favorite breed of squirrel. I don't know. We're so close to YouTube Partner Level 1. I really appreciate if we could hit that by the end of the year. We're so close. It's almost, you know, we only have like a month left. So, enjoy the video. Bye, guys. I don't want to walk this earth if I gotta do it solo, solo. Alright, let's get this shit. So, yeah, like I said, this game is, um, it, it's, it's, you just kind of sit back and let it happen, so... I'm just going to be kind of vibing. My keyboard's a little clickety-clackety, so try to ignore that. Um, I don't really have another keyboard to use, so. But yeah, it's uh, very much a story, so we're just going to kind of sit back and let it tell us what to do. I do have to walk around and stuff. Like, it'll tell me WASD and stuff is my um, controls, but um, yeah. So again, this is called Beginner's Guide. It's Beginner's Guide. It's $10 on Steam if you want to buy it yourself, but... I'll just play it for you, don't worry. Just listen closely. Hopefully the audio is good. Sounds like it's pretty good. I'll turn it up even a little bit more for you guys. That should be pretty loud, actually, but it's more for you people, so. Alright, let's get started. And I'm gonna comment on stuff that's funny. I mean, come on, you know who I am. If something's goofy, I'm gonna I'm gonna comment on it. Goofy shit gets acknowledged around here. <sighs> I'm working on building a new computer. I, um, I'm about to buy my new CPU. I'm getting like a i9-13... Hi there. 13... Oh. Thank you very much for playing The Beginner's Guide. My name is Davey Reedon. I wrote The Stanley Parable. And oh, yeah, while that game that. tells a pretty absurd story, today I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Word. Now, these games mean a lot to me. Uh... I met Coda in early 2009, at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff. And Same. his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. Oh, it's shit. a level for Counter-Strike. You can walk around here, it. by the way. And uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. I really want to make a but what I like friends. is that even though he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town, he then hmm. scatters these colorful abstract blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. And of course, it hmm. destroys the illusion that this actually is a desert town, and instead this level becomes a kind of calling oh, card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. And it kind of makes you wonder, what was going through his head as he was building this? This is what I like about all of Coda's games. How to I mean, make a shitty not map. that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know oh, okay. who this human being really is. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. Word. So, it's 2008, Coda starts do making these games, I don't and he never releases any of them. He doesn't put them onto the internet, he just makes them and then immediately abandons them and they sit on his computer forever. 
And I think he really understood this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point, he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. So, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made. Until suddenly one day, he just stopped. In 2011, that was it. He made his last game, and then he hasn't made another one since. And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. Is because I find his games powerful and interesting, and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Koda. So thanks for joining me on this. Like if you player. have a particular so cool. interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d-a-v-e-y-w-r-e-d-e-n at gmail.com. Did he just give us his email? Okay, that's oh about God, it for introduction. Serious. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. He gave us game. his email. I As each game him. is loading, I'll show you the wow. date that it was completed. Okay. This first one was made in November 2008. Okay. This is, uh... Alright. Oh shit. Hey, hey. Alright. Oh, I can use this. Oh, it doesn't. This game is called Escape from Whisper, and it's one of the more generic games you'll see from Coda. Okay. The gun sound is so quiet, I don't even know if the audio is right. Something Security call reached. Hostile alien life form. I can't wait. It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid-development. <laughs> For instance, you have this gun, yeah. which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere, but yeah. then clearly there are no enemies anywhere. You can't even reload the gun when you run out of bullets. That is true. But ultimately, we don't really know. Forward. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. And I think that we should talk about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. Enemy force neutralized. That's fair. I love how you can see the bottom of the universe from this room. Yeah. <laughs> yep, the universe is actually one big rectangle, chat. In case you guys didn't know. Trust me, I'm an engineer. I know these things. It's like that one Halo map. Apparently the space station has a labyrinth on it. I... Uh, sure, I don't know. There's really no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm just gonna skip you on past it. Oh. Oh. Okay. I feel like I was onto something there. I think I had it. Okay, this is the part that's interesting. The game has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, I feel like I had that and phase. then you get to the engine room. The engine room. It's like a mungus. Hey, you there, in the engine room. You could save us all. That beam is powering a whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If you... Your body could stop the beam. <laughs> I have to get in it's there, so lady? Ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? I don't know you could people. Could you give yourself? Fuck it, I got nothing better to do. Geronimo. Oh! <laughs> Let me pause here for a second. <laughs> it killed me. What you just experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. <laughs> but when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And uh -huh. this is what happens instead. I think I'll do it again. Oh. Oh shit. Wait. No! No! Alright. Was I right on that maze? The okay, I was. You to start I was floating. right. And this is an important moment for I was right, for, for the record. Look at because that. Because yes, this is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it. Like how small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. <sighs> or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place, juxtaposed against all of the hysteria that you've just had to traverse. I see no I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking, but what's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. 
<sighs> Sorry if I'm putting you guys to sleep. I don't know why I'm tired. I'm I'm fine. I've had a pretty alright day. I did some Christmas shopping. Actually, I should... Oh no, you can't see the bags. I was gonna say, I should be careful because I got bags in here with uh, presents for people. Hello? Oh wait. The pass was behind her. Mm -hmm. So try walking backwards. Oh, ain't that some yep. shit. In this game, you can only walk backwards. Well, this is fucking with me. Yeah, don't worry about playing this game, guys. It's fucking confusing. So it's a short and relatively minimalist experiment oh. combining motion and narrative. It is less advanced than the previous game, but actually it seems to be more focused, more complete. Code is trying to give it a unique voice rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. It clear when she stops and looks. It's based. But if the future is always behind her, how will she find the strength? to confront it. It's a short little thought, it says what it wants to say, and then it ends. That's Didn't fair. need anything more than that. Which to me is why it works, because it gets out quick. Okay, next one. Oh god, it's slender. But with the field of you are now entering. What, murder, <laughs> violence forest is that what I'm entering? Oh, and that's it. All right. Okay, the meaning of this game won't so be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games, and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. All right, Mr. Disembodied Voice. I will trust you for the next few games. Oftentimes, Koda would put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his games. This isn't a... Okay, I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like, that was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with that at all, but what are you gonna do? Oh, I can't get on the handrail. Whack. <laughs> sorry if I'm, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm yawning so much, y'all. I, I hope I'm not putting any of you guys to sleep. Uh, Once you've been slowed I to an slow. absolute crawl, mm -hmm. the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why? If Code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. Thanks, dog. I appreciate that. Uh... Ah, there's too many words! Okay. You start a small room until you realize you can just walk through the walls. Oh, can I? Liar! A room that's warm and nice and filled with little ideas for games. A button you press to stop the chaos that doesn't work. Yeah, asshole? You are the Coda would of often tell me that he didn't mind if people thought of him as cold or distant. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there series of lavish manuals come with the game giving you incorrect instructions on how to play. You know how funny that would be if, like, the Super Metroid <laughs> player's manual just had a bunch of wrong shit or, like, Smash Brothers? Oh, that would be funny. I remember, I still have my Smash Brothers Melee, uh, guy that was in the GameCube. Or, sorry, in the GameCube case. That shit was really cool. Oh, look, another maze. I bet you I could figure it out again. I kind of want to do more videos where I just kind of... Well, this is new for Coda. Games. It's an actual puzzle. Gosh. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. I'm really bad at puzzles. <laughs> Open sesame! Well, that's about all I can do. I'm not gonna lie, I really thought that was gonna... Don't forget that solution, <laughs> because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. I'm fucking smart. We're gonna see it a lot. Uh oh. Looks like I probably can't get back up there. This is some Pokemon shit. Alright. So that seems to be it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve a puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. 
Alright, now I'm going to modify the game again so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. Oh. I kind of want to turn down the audio. It's a little loud, right? I want, like, the voice, though, to be good, though. Uh, I guess fuck it. Alright. That's a little loud. Hold on. I'm gonna take that down a tad. I'm sorry. There we go. I'm, I'm, I'm going in raw to this, so sorry. Oh, press enter. The walls! It's like, uh, that Minecraft, uh, it's like, um, like, look for diamonds mod. You can see, like, all the How about that? There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. Wow. I actually find it funny here. that this game comes after the stairs game, since they essentially convey the opposite <laughs> idea. So, uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Either way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time, you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. Uh -huh. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? So I didn't consider the possibility that I might be too stupid to take away the message from this game. Because what I'm getting is this guy just is like Finbar Calamitous from Jimmy Neutron. He just starts a bunch of shit and never finishes it. Oh, I'm accidentally uh -huh. going. Aha! So, this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in, some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture My eyes is. Are itchy, bro. My body trying to like put me to sleep? I didn't even take a Benadryl or anything. March 2009. What was I doing in 2009? I was in like sixth grade or some shit. It was right after Obama went into office, right? He was into office in 2008. Shit like that. My boy Obeezy. Oh, okay, what is this? Oh, it's a little farm town. It's like I'm Superman. Let's talk about video game development for a second. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which <laughs> determines what the game can and cannot do. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. I knew this, yes. I really want to make, to make game all of these friends. games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine does well. Can I go in the handicap bathroom? I can go in the handicap bathroom! The tools available to the creator nice. shape what kinds of creative work they're gonna end up making. Is this you might consider paying attention toilet? to the architecture in Coda's games, to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear, boxy corridors. Wow, that's pretty woke. They only have a handicap bathroom. Jesus, that's pretty good. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> Is this the kitchen? <laughs> this must be the walk-in freezer. Holy shit. I guess I'm going down here. I wonder if there's fall damage. Yeah. There's no fall damage. This is like uh, like in Majora's Mask when you like fall into the tree hole or whatever when uh, Skull Kid like fucks with you. And you just like see all the little like faces and icons and stuff and all your rupees falling out of you. It's kind of like that. Or at least it reminds me of that. Oh no! I fucked out! No! No! Oh. Oh. Okay. Alright, that could have been much worse. Can I not get in here? Oh, it's like a... It's, it's a force field. Alright, well I made it down here now. <laughs> what was that? I've been playing Lethal Company a lot, so everything, like, every noise freaks me out now. I'm like high strung. What the fuck? Do you hear that or is that my headset? That's this. Oh god! Alright. No! Oh, wait, am I- Oh wait, this is jail. This is a jail. I'm going to jail. I'm in prison. No. I wanna go to jail. I don't 
don't want to go to jail. No! This Funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. I'm not. If you don't mind, I think we're gonna skip that. Fuck that. Thank you for letting me This out. is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable. Whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend Ugh, that, you know, jaws, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled so Playable nice. Games that was <laughs> full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. That's Believe some troll played trash. every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. That's the kind of shit I would do if I knew about this stuff. Too bad I, I really want to learn. It's the I... puzzle again. With the exact same solution as the last time. Oh, I know. I know this one. I know this one. There's still no clear oh. indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. I wonder if there's a speedrun for this game. I feel like there's a lot of probably hard checks that stop people from the Did you come from the Here, Coda begins using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. <laughs> Don't want to lie. I spent hours in that prison, dog. That's sword above, you've been there. Did you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Yes. If they get up and kill me, I'm gonna be so mad. Tell us the solution, how to get the other side. Uh, no, I'm gonna hold this one. I'm gonna keep this one close to my chest. I fucked up that interaction. They're being weird though. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, but they You fucking. Okay. Got me there. We actually find the blank space between the door to be far more interesting. Have you seen it yet? Uh, why would I care about the blank space between the doors? There's a reason, but it may take you time before you understand, which is fine, you'll see it again. How about... Dude, this room is like what my office, like the... Like, thinking rooms look like at my job. Just weird... And so we make one last descent down to the final floor of the level. Look like a problem, man. Oh, we're in school. Or like a motel. Six. It's a lamppost. Oh, okay, right. I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. Mm. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose. And maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. Okay. He wants a destination. Which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. This game is putting me to sleep. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. Yeah. Oh, fade to black. Why am I tired? Sorry, 
kind of some parts because my eyes are really itchy. I think my body is telling me to go to bed. I have a party I have to go to at like 6. I kind of can't. Take a nap. Nice room, not. Damn! It's not even my room! Or so first off, thoughts. I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're going to see have been written by Coda. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. In retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too bushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I was over-enthusiastic. But he was very gracious about it and very patient with me. And I cooled off eventually. Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not Balls. doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. Either way, to me they convey a sense of loneliness. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. Oh. This game is no nice. But it's ironic, isn't like it, it that could. in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. <laughs> I could just get to know you through your work. I think this is why I always liked Dakota's games so much, is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely too. What the shit is this cavern? My man. Someone who gets it. Boring. I mean, it's more of a game to go, like, gather all the little, like, Dark Souls little, uh, talkie bubbles. No, no, what's it called? Uh, try finger butthole. <laughs> I can assure you guys. Yeah, okay, no, that's really bad. I bet you this one's worth a lot. <gasps> oh, it doesn't let me jump off the edges. Why would you put walls on it, dude? At the what? end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. And the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. In each of his games, after exploring a theme that, you know, he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution, he understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. <laughs> I might and because there's this like... dark area between <laughs> the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. What the fuck? Oh, it's keyboard clicking buttons. Is this what it sounds like when I'm streaming and I'm playing Valorant or League? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yep, that's a bunch of typewriters. Hey, and look, he did say... I can be anything. I just look at his face and talk to me, please. Why are having so much difficulty talking? This looks like my text history with my ex, dude. Fuck. I didn't know it was gonna be that deep. How'd they get that? How'd they get my text history? How's that possible? Did Samsung help make this game? Porn stars die too. Okay, this one is tough. No. It's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. I thought they were it. immortal. This is a nice little apartment. I like this. Their little studios. Cool. Oh, oh. Damn, dude, I kind of want to do this on my walls, like at my house, but I have Mario paintings up on my walls, like Mario Castle or Peach's Castle in Mario 64. It's way cooler, but I do like little circle stuff like that. Also, I don't have like a spirally staircase. I don't know if it looks cool. It kind of looks stupid, I bet. It would look like I'm trying to be like an office, and I feel like offices are 
dog. Oh, no. See, like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, okay. for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version two. <sighs> All right. What furniture ought to go in the center of the room? Uh, the TV with a surround, duh. Is that even up for discussion? Table, all right. Where's the TV? I didn't get my TV. How about, what a, sorry. Okay, now what about along the wall of the room? A huge picture of a horse, how about, no. Tin stove lined up against the wall, hell fucking yeah. <laughs> We can make some money. Okay, or two couches. I think we should light this room up a bit. Skylight, full ceiling window. Let's open this baby up. I'm thinking 10 by 2 reset. Sorry, 10 by 12 recess light, electric, six inch soft light ceiling lights with fluorescent trim. That's what I have actually in my current house, but I they're cool, but those bulbs are expensive. I'm going to go with the fluorescent Tesla coil things. Okay, or the goddamn Pixar lamp. That's fine. And a table, you need a table. Is this not a fucking table? Who are you? Where exactly are you doing this from? Yeah, I like to know that too. Oh my god, there's so much. This is a nice table. Oh my god, it's an idea. There's a bit more to this one, but still it's, it's not idea. really communicating anything. It's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. That's true. We're in an Ikea. So, okay, he throws it out and starts over. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. I'm cold very suddenly. Dude, this game is fucking me up. You know what I need? I, I saw on TikTok somebody made lasagna soup. Dude, I really want some of that shit. Lasagna is my favorite food, if you guys don't know that about me. My favorite, uncontested. First, click on this table. Good. Go over to the photo frame and click to turn it slightly. Uh, it's like still popped up, if you ask me. Now turn the floor lamp in this room off and turn it back on. I need to go buy a new lamp, dude. Now go to the left side sofa, move it a little. Okay. Oops. Finally touch the shelves. Sorry, I'm stupid. I didn't realize these are shelves. There we go. That's it. In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. Whatever you say, boss. Your wish is my commando. Return. Get me out of here. Anywho. Yeah, I really want to play that. I really want to eat that. And of course. Soup. Now the table is gone and you can't begin the chain of events to escape. No! Here's a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside and the outside is the inside. Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this, to see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. Mm -hmm. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop, that particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. Mm -hmm. And so he keeps going Dude, and, going and going, going and going and going and going. I feel like I'm too And stupid. then he hits on something. But we're gonna stick it And through. he likes it. And that's it. He's done. Oh. He stops making prisons. Oh, okay. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. Well, that's just intentionally confusing. I don't know if y'all are taking anything away from this, but I certainly have not yet understood the full picture. Apparently it's like an hour and a half long total. Wow, this is like Chrono Trigger a little bit. 
you guys know the end of time, like when you go to um, the little place with the old man that ends up being gas bar or whatever? Dun, dee, dun, dun. Dun, dee, dun, dun. Hello? Dude, this is horrifying. I feel like something's gonna come running from that house over there. Hello? Who's this? Hey, it's me! I'm you from after you escape the prison. That's crazy. That's I'm you! So you were trapped in this prison too? Uh oh. <laughs> I think it's a conversation. And so this is what Koda wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. That's true. You know, I all feel... of these games so wow. far are That's Koda a... talking to himself. That's a rough way to put a lot of gaming into perspective. I mean, I stream, so I'm used to talking to the void, you know? Like, the first year or so of streaming was, like, either my homies in chat or, like, one or two people who I ended up having to ban anyway. But, you know, you get used to talking to the void, but in any game, even if there is, like, dialogue back and forth, you are technically talking to yourself, which is uh, a little crazy. Actually, I'm already freaking... Something tells me it doesn't really matter too much. We're not gonna get the good or the bad. Thanks for playing my game. Again. Thank you so much for playing my game. I was afraid to make this call. No, it actually wasn't. Time moves differently for you than it does me. Yeah, probably. Multiverse shit. Did you all see Spider Verse? That shit was really good, man. And that's not even just me, like, being like, yo, Miles. I, I, like, it's just so pretty. It's such a visual spectacle, man. It's such a good movie. The story's so good, all the references. Uh, love it all. Just watched with my boys the other day. All you have to do is be sincere. You just gotta believe. Listen, you can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. Alright, I'll take your word for it. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice to be happy? So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? <laughs> so he puts you on an isolated, frozen mountaintop. To yep. me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Oh well, my goodness, I'm glad as heck you all. I'm glad it's all heck that you showed up. Thought I might have to be cleaning this entire house all myself. And right miserable that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make lousy homes. You'll notice that the is quality that of the art is a step up from previous games, including this new oh. and improved chat system, which he started Hi. using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work. And this particular game took two months to create as a result. Wow. I'm gonna lay down for a bit, chat. Hi, sorry. I fell asleep yesterday. I was very tired. Um, I went to bed at like 3 a.m. and now I'm back. This is now the next day, so sorry. I got a new shirt on, though, so at least I'm taking showers. You can tell I'm not a complete dirtbag. Um, we got through a good half of this. I think I'm here now. Okay, yeah. I... Okay, yeah, we're gonna start here, and let's just pick up where we left off. I'm gonna try and edit out all the parts where I, like, fell asleep while playing. Dude, I'm getting old, man. I fall asleep when I'm doing stuff. I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm anxious. So what would it look like All if right. Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? I don't know. Okay, I barely remember. <laughs> Bro, I must have been asleep to me, this when I was playing this part. Is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Oh, I remember this dumb shit. Am I already yawning seriously? Dude, this game is just sleepy. It makes you sleepy. <laughs> I'm <laughs> It's like when I read books, dude. I just fall asleep. I'm too tired. You'll <laughs> notice that the quality of the art is a step up from previous games, including this mm -hmm. new and improved chat system, which he started True. using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work. I'm not putting in this, this music, by the way. This is just the game. Two months to create as a result. Okay. Oh, he wants me to go clean the bathroom or like the bedroom, right? Oh yeah, I gotta clean the bed and stuff. Okay, I have to go back first, then I can go do it again. Do I need to go do the rug too? Okay. Isn't there stuff on the floor too? No, I gotta do that after. Okay. No, I'm remembering a little bit. Okay. Uh, dude, I don't care. Just do all the stuff. I will be honest, at this point, I have not, like, felt anything. <laughs> I don't feel any better or worse as a person thus far. I feel a little more tired. Actually, never mind. I do feel worse. I do feel a little bit worse on that. It's because I slept instead of doing what I said I was going to do, so that's pretty bad. Did you straighten up the pills on the sofa out there? I got you, girl. Hold on. Dude, I'm yawning. <laughs> it's the game, I swear to God. Mop that up as long as you're over there. Spill a drink on the couch. Oh, I got you. All right, what else do you want me to do? Uh, make it cheesy. Super cheesy. Dude, what the fuck is up with this game? <laughs> is there like... <laughs> is there some kind of narcoleptic <laughs> drug in this game? Dishes need to be washed. Boom, done. What else? I'm like the model husband. I'm just doing every chore instantaneously, dude. Te clean the tub? Shit, I got you. Boom. What else do you need, babe? Large green square woman? Or man? Oh, books back up the shelf? Please. That's easy. That's too easy! I'm wondering if the goal of this game is to, like, make you feel accomplished by doing little things. After the intense set of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you. And eventually cohere into something meaningful. Okay. For now, just really smooth out the rug in the game. bedroom. I already did All that shit. Work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was like... I feel like the music's really happy. loud. All the time, just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Aww. Tub's dirty again. Dude, this is why I fell asleep the first time. It's because this shit is too, like, cozy. And why am I doing this twice? Am I doing something wrong here? Heh. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm doing the wrong dialogue stuff. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why I'm tired. What the fuck? Why am I tired? I literally, like, just got out of the shower. I'm good. I played pickleball with my mom this this afternoon. That was really fun. I went and met up with my homies to get burgers at Red Robin. Dude, I already cleaned up the books. Who knocked him off the shelf again? I just did this. And now the pillows are a mess again. I'm glad he made this. I'm glad he found some peace. It better not knock over and spill. How else can I help you? Question. Oh, God. But, of course, it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Mm. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. Mm. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Oh, I thought I saw something at the bottom of that stair. What the hell? 
Where's the door? Oh, here we go. This is a nice house. This is a nice little, like, uh, middle of a mountainous chasm cabin. I like that. Very nice. I wish I had a house like that. I really like the open floor plan on that. Dude, I'm gonna be start- I'm gonna start playing Sims 4 and- Oh, there's that fucking light post. Huh. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. Cult of the lamp, baby. Pay I money really lobby. That was I'm all about that shit. Oh, and it's over. Nice. Well, uh... I think we're getting towards the end. This- Items you this love one gets at members a bit only goofy. prices. Oh, word. Oh god, not college, no! Was it to improve your life? Yeah. Was it to get a better job? I have a pretty good job. My relationship's more meaningful. Bro, I'm trying to find one. What the fuck? It's gonna teach me how to be perfect. Alright. I don't like that the neck turn, like the head's turning like that. Yeah, it's making me a little uncomfortable. I want your friends, the people in your life to look at you like this. Wow, that's okay, it's getting really fast. Compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, great, ungrateful, I intend to make you into that person. Perfection is within your grasp. And the question is now, sorry, the question is not how do we do it, but how do we do it? Effortlessly. This is easy, this is so easy. About halfway through the game, the nice perspective shifts. Oh! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And you play as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher uh -huh. is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Well, that's crazy. Oh, and also, you can move around the classroom now. Well, student, I would like to perhaps recommend you get out of here. Maybe through this door here. Because there is... The end of times behind you? Alright, well, let me tell you right now, if it isn't effortless, then it's not the right answer. <laughs> wow, this is so deep. If you're torturing yourself trying to find the right solutions for your life, you're not doing it right. Mm. Seek out only one thing. What is the easiest, simplest path forward? There is no truth. There is no path. Hmm. Do what is easiest, do what is simple. Feel what is true. Well, that last, or that first one, or whatever, was kind of interesting. I mean, if you're torturing yourself trying to find the right solutions for your life, you're not doing it right. I mean, that's not not right, but I think to some extent you kind of have to, you know, I guess it depends on what you define as torture. Because having, like, you know, life being rough is life being rough. That's just how it is. You can't get around that. It's it, it's it's supposed to be rough. It's what makes you tough. It's what hardens you. Makes I feel you like it's one of the most relatable experiences so, that you can have. As long as it's not prolonged, you, uh, I guess. So. Assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot. These this days. is a really good looking, like, black hole, though. I like that. In, in the event horizon of the black hole. That was badass. I love that there's screaming just passively going on. Sorry, I'm scratching my ankle. Oh, stage. I am an actor! This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was mm -hmm. four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make this any reminds me of like Kino Der Toten. And it's not like it's particularly complex. So I remember I found out really oh, fuck. strange at the time. <laughs> That's why did that scare me? Um uh, slowly, gently, night unfurls its splendor. I don't know the whole song, but Phantom of the Opera is pretty badass. Uh, in this scene, you'll be playing as me. We are at a gathering of professionals. First, you'll start out by leaning against this wall. Oh, the, all right. Good, stay right there. The woman across the room in the chair is a professional photographer of animals. It is your dream to photograph animals professionally. No, it's not. <laughs> this is your one chance to learn something from her. Gain something to succeed. Go on, say something to her. Hi. <laughs> Hello, that's it. 
Dude, you didn't give me a lot of conversation stuff. You actually need to converse with her. Be a human being. Do it again. Since what is saying hi, not good. I'm a su I'm super, super scared right now. I like you. <laughs> well, I feel like dropping all your spaghetti on someone with here are all my hopes and dreams is kind of crazy in the first second of knowing them. Saying I like you is... I mean, you know how my Riz is non-existent, so I wouldn't personally do that one. I'm gonna go with three, I, I guess. I don't fucking know, dude. No, 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 that's not what I said to her at all. Dude! <laughs> <sighs> These options suck. Why is this game making me so tired? This game is like drugs. This game is like melatonin, dude. I use the prompts to work with. Okay, these horrifying looking things sticking out of the ground. I'm gonna talk to her again. Hello. You must have worked really hard to get where you are. I bet you've learned to lean into the pain. What are some sacrifices you've had to make? How about one? How am I messing it up again? That's a good question. Is, or not a question, that's a good thing to tell someone who's a career professional. What are you talking about? The freaker out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. According to who? Ow. And she's gone. Okay, well, I fucked that up. Wait, that's the white post. That must mean it's the end of the game. Or the end of this, uh, this, this particular game. Oh, shit. And I'm in jail again. Alright, well. Oh, God. Please the game stop. ends with this eerie oh, of what's fuck. going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, uh, to fears of having to perform and having sprint. to success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away, hmm. which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. Hmm. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of I feel just like one of these going to land on me. World. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. Uh, oh, shit. But what can you do? After mm -hmm. this, Coda went off and took another five months to make a new game. Five months? That's pretty good. I wish I could make... Oh, I clicked through that too fast. Oh, shit. Is this... Are we on the Enterprise? SS Whisper? Oh, this guy's just given up. He said, help. Somebody get help. Uh, dude, we're in fucking space. We're flying towards somebody's living room, so I don't know if we can do that for you, Chief. Are we gonna hit that? Uh, what's going on? We're gonna hit somebody's, like, living room. Ah! <laughs> Wait, really? I just fucked that up? That's so funny. What's going on? I can't You should die probably like open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. And what there if... is a solution, by the way. Can I, uh, take the fucking escape pod? Is that a solution? Speaking something that is honest. Uh... I'm always bursting with creative energy. What the fuck? What's going on? Somebody give me stuff. Give me, give me something. Okay. Uh... Someone please talk to me, please. Hello? You seem glowier than usual. The only way to stop it is by saying something honest. Uh, I'm bursting with creative energy. No, no, that isn't truthful. What do you mean that's not truthful? I was telling the truth. I really am. I, I, I... All right, listen here, motherfucker. All right, you don't know what I'm feeling. You don't know what's creative to me and what's not. All right, come here, asshole. I was gonna say something truthful. I what I. What, I can't keep making these? Is that what you want to hear? 
what is this a metaphor for like my life is I'm on my way to a, a crash like I landing said, I was getting concerned first off he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking so where's that I don't feel from? anymore I'm out of ideas but then me. even weirder his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas but mm. he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore and in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that, that you say easy. in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Can't figure out Here how to say the It was the point thing. in my relationship with Koda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. I'm alone. I'm stuck in it. I have to work harder. I think it's just got to work harder, man. That's life. Got to. There's no. There's nothing else to do but de but train until you die, right? Mm. I feel like there's deeper His meaning games are to going everything. to get more oh. desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Mm. <laughs> six months, you say? Oh, my back. Oh, my spine. Hello? Where am I? Oh, God. I don't like that breathing. Oh. Nice tree. <sighs> I'm stuck on this island. <sighs> Hello, is anyone there? I feel like this is the stuff I would say out loud. I feel like I'd probably think, why am I here? But I'd say, is anyone there? Is that a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. I don't know if you guys wanted me to be reading the little font and stuff underneath. I left it blank. I left that space with, like, nothing there so you guys could do it yourself, but... I'll try to read it every now and then. Completely out of ideas. I When I try to create, I feel empty. I have nothing left to give to my work. Hmm. Uh, I'm not out of ideas, at least me personally. But when I try to create, I feel kind of empty. Yeah, I'll get out. Yeah, that's fair. All right. I wonder how deep this shit's going to get. Wait, so this is a game he made, like, or he half-ass made for himself, I guess? What happened? Did something change? Uh, there was a machine that kept me going and it stopped. I'm trying to find this engine that used to protect me to start it again. Uh, I don't know, dude. Maybe two, I guess. I don't like the breathing in the back of my, like, head. Why is that happening? Oh, okay, sorry. Nice audio effects. Uh, oh, over here. Wait, you're looking for a machine? I think I know where it is. This isn't far. I need to see it. I, I know why it, you have to take me to it. Yeah, can I get that? Excuse me. Uh, yeah, you have to take me to it right away, please. If the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, this one turns it up to 11. Uh, now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? Well said. Uh... I can do that, but there's a problem. It's guarded by a difficult puzzle. If you can help me solve the puzzle, we'll find the machine. Deal? It doesn't matter what I say. Where is it? <laughs> We're going to end up there one way or another, right? <laughs> it <laughs> it auto-made me say deal. That's funny. Okay. Oh, is this like a big Mickey Mouse? No, it's like a big cock. Um, I forgot what those little uh, arches in Japan are called, but they're like, um, these are really cool. There's like a whole, like... Because from Excuse my me, perspective at the time and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of hey, how I know this puzzle. He was. he was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to hey. anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect. <sighs> he had no outlet to ground Chris, himself to, uh, on. Open the door. Thank you. And... Okay, now what? Close. The door. Uh, now press the switch on the inside. 
three? Wait. I don't see any switch in here. Wait. Close the door. Close the first door. That opens this one, right? Oh, now I have to press the switch inside. Question mark. There we go. Aha! You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. Hmm. It doesn't work that way. You I can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Mm -hmm. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled here. into your work, then if <laughs> you the lied to fails, me, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. Why do I hear wheezing? Oh, is it like I'm choking? Okay, making games is simple. Sure, making games. All right, making games is simple. You have to say that game development is simple and joyous, that you love it 100% of the time. You have to say that work is fun and easy. Hmm. Oh, uh, what? Like, working or, like, doing this stuff makes you feel choked up? That's why the person in my ear is having an asthma attack? <laughs> That's fair, I guess. Ah, that feels wonderful. But it wasn't true. Why did the walls just crumble yet? Yeah. Can I get some context? Like, what the f what's going on? What is this, like, a metaphor for? Don't worry about it. Just keep talking. Say that creation is easy. When I make games, I feel completely energized. I'm constantly excited and enthusiastic about my work. It is easy and never stops being easy. <laughs> well, I have to lie, so, I mean, I don't know, too. And the shit broke. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, someone crying, really unhealthy to me. That's wonderful. I was watching Keep him going. do this to Every time I make I something, it. I feel better about myself. Just never so stop fun. creating, and you'll never feel bad. It's, like, it's such a simple solution. Video games are not <laughs> worth this amount of suffering. Damn, the chick having an asthma attack in my really is actually about. gonna die. And I used to get so much that joy feels out of seeing him. None of this is helping. I'm gonna vomit. For him to suddenly become Where's the machine? <laughs> frustrated like this. I want to know where my fucking machine is. Patience, you have to trust me. Bro. Please continue. Alright, well the lady behind me needs an inhaler. Can we get that for her? Pain breezes effortlessly off me. Uh, Physical pain, yeah. Any sacrifices made for my work are worth it 100% of the time. It always pays off eventually. Oh wait, what's the question? Oh. I mean, this is kind of a stupid question. Sorry, I, I have to leave. This you is what I felt at the time. Be happy until you love me. I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> I wanted it to yes, stop more, more than anything. There's no I shame, no fear, no so guilt. Rotten. I'll be just, saved by my work. I believe I this unquestioningly. Ever I'm a vessel for certainty. For this to stop. Oh, and we're back to jail in a lamppost. Oh, is that? Oh, she was crying. But it didn't stop. Oh. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. Well, that last game was a real fucking roller coaster, so I can only imagine seven months later this shit's gonna slap. Like Star Wars Episode Five, dude. People are gonna love this shit. I feel like Coda makes a lot of like. I feel like Coda's like overly angsty. But, I mean, I get it. Like, some of, the, some of the principles and concepts in this game have been, you know, like, stuff that I've thought about or, like, felt a little bit. Move, nerd. I already know how to do this puzzle. We've captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. Oh, word? Uh, you can begin the interrogation whenever you like. I intend to be quick. I intend to be brutal. Hell yeah. I'm going to beat someone's ass. Very good. My man. Someone called the press. We might have a bit of attention. Fuck. One thing you should know about the machine, it calls itself Coda. I always thought in my head that Coda was with a K. Oh, God. No. No time to talk to you people. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Dude, I never have dealt with paparazzi. I guess... I guess viewers technically and count course, as... Some of my viewers count as machine. paparazzi. Yeah, this is a machine. It's a nice little timing belt you got up there. It seems to be Oh, nice gears. You've stopped. 
you stopped feeding us. Your work was keeping us alive. Your work was keeping us healthy. What is this supposed to represent? Like my brain or something? Uh, those lights weren't there before. Those people out there, can you imagine what pain you put them through? It was only because of your creations that any of us could make it through every day. How could you possibly go back? How could we possibly go back to trusting you to do this job? Uh, I don't know. Two. Uh, so here's what needs to happen. You need to go to the people who are out there and apologize to them. You have to admit to the people that you allowed them to suffer. I've been so alone. This is getting deep. No, nothing. Think carefully. I know how to hurt you. <laughs> I, I've seen the thing you fear. Jesus. All right. I did say I wanted to be brutal. All right. Yeah, brutal. I know how to hurt you. I hate when people threaten like, oh, I could do something worse. It's like, fucking do it. I guarantee there's nothing you can do that's that bad or you would have already done it. Human nature is very, very gross. All right, then I'll speak to them for you. All right, I guess I'm going back out. Oh, shit. All right, people. He's, um... He died. I guess. My followers. <laughs> Gotta do followers. Chat! <laughs> if it falls on me to deliver... It falls on me to deliver bad news. I have a troubling revelation. I feel like I would say troubling revelation. The machine will not apologize to us. The machine refuses to admit that it deliberately hurt us. Uh, one. <laughs> so innocent sounding. But this is not important. We are stronger than it thinks we are. We will find a way to live without it. We do not need its games. Hmm. That's weird. That's very oddly specific. Let us pay it retribution. Let us show it that we are not failures. Retribution! Follow me. We will destroy the machine. We will destroy everything that the machine has created. Wow. That's so self-destruction. Hmm. I guess. Fuck it. Let's get in there. It's like the Imperial March. Oh. No one followed me. Oh, shit! Where's Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> he should have been up on the top left, right? Oh, shit! I was joking! Oh, my God. Well, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Coda, I'll make sure your work dies here. Oh, I could do my little Valorant, like, little counter stage. Stop, shoot. Stop, shoot. Oh, Abraham. Coda, I'll make sure you are known forever. I'll make sure your work dies here. Uh, I like known forever. So, that's good. Oh so my now God. the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this cool game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm Isn't thinking. Isn't that what myself. you're scared of? Exposed to others? I'm Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people to get some actual feedback on his games. It might get him out of isolation. Oh, shit. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback. So, what if I did it for it? Fair enough. If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring wow. meaning back into his work? I tried to draw a cock, it did not work before. Oh no! So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the island that you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, I'm and some of the prison I'm escape game. Block and not I brought them to people through. that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. Bro, the I'm a random Steam they really loved his games. account owner. You know, the point of it all was just to give them some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. I tried to hit the sledge on my way down. Didn't work. Well, 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 if it isn't the machine, put down your weapon. All right. 
I ain't putting down shit. I stay strapped. Oh. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? I can't. Because it's anything, the thing actually. that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they <laughs> see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something. I really felt like I'd done something it's good. A like, lot. like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy, so beautifully, beautifully happy. Such a crazy story with so much audio um, makes me like. So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. Hmm. So this is June of 2011, and That's I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. Okay. This one is called The Tower. Oh, God. And to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. So let's take a look. All right, let's look at the tower. See what we got. Whew. All right. Well, I stopped yawning. Probably shouldn't have said that because now it's going to come back and I'm going to get all tired again. The tower. Tower and of this God. is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Uh oh. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. Okay. It's a very cold game. It's like Heaven's Arena from Hunter x Hunter, which is such a good arc, by the way. Fuck, dude. That all the like gone and kill while learning Nen. She was so cool. This I'm still actually oh, has a maze in it. Oh Jesus. Oh my eyeballs! Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. Ah! And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing. Ah! So the experience is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player Aye! for trying to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, Aye! press enter and I'll put a Fuck bridge this. over the maze. Yeah, give me a bridge. My fucking eyeballs, man. Ugh. That shit hurted it. I don't even have epilepsy and that shit hurted. My lord. Alright. Really not sure what I'm and supposed to be, to be fair, taking It's not away like this is this. the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Yeah. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. Yeah, I noticed. I had to it cut it annoying. off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. Yeah, thank you for that. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? It's a good question, yeah. The All right, way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit code. Uh oh. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me mm -hmm. except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Damn it! One five one six one seven five. I didn't know it went all the way around. One. Oops. Sorry. One five. One. Six. Gotta go all the way around. One seven. Hip hip. Thank God, homie put the fucking code on the floor. I was not gonna figure that out at all. There's no shot. Alrighty, Geronimo. Eh. The this switch to open tower this door sucks. is actually on the other side of the door meaning oh. that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So 
Even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. <laughs> awesome. And it's scary for me. The idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it. That's the end of the conversation. Not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. But I can open this door for you, so let me do that. Thanks, dog. Was I a failure for not understanding this game? I, mean, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution. But I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed. And I don't understand why. I remember. It's June of 2011. I'm playing this for the very first time. And as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew. It wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years, I was Sorry, trying like to get to know thinking. him, to understand who he actually was also, and, and what he stood for. The guy. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. And he wouldn't. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. Oops. I needed to be someone other than me. And somebody but he stopped else. and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. I feel that. Feelings of failure. <laughs> Constantly. I screw no, up? I, uh, no, I get that. I get that. You know, like, you see, like, you put out content and it doesn't work, and you feel like, okay, well, since it didn't pop off, I fucking suck. I get that. I am the reason that you stopped making games, games aren't I? Speak to me anymore. It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. Hmm. That's pretty sad for two friends. I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. Hmm. And the people who played them they treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally, for a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. <gasps> Wait, he was putting the lamppost in them? What? Dude, am I getting gaslit this whole fucking game? And then you stopped, and I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. What does that mean? Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, this is pretty deep shit. <laughs> You're not my problem to solve. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. This fucking puzzle again. Stop breathing around me, lady. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work, is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that 
I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again, like I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that no, I never was. And I want to know how to, how to I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading. And all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Wow. I'm trying to figure out, like, uh, I'm trying to figure out, like, what perspective I should be looking at that from. Like, is it, because that was crazy deep, because, like, I don't know what the, the messages were talking to Davey, but I don't know if I'm supposed to be Davey. Like me as the person playing the game, or if, or, or if I'm the friend more, and Davy's been driving more, me more, fucking more, crazy. More love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, uh, more. Maybe that was like the breakdown. It's like I guess. a disease. Well, looks like I'm gonna catch the train right about now. Where are we going? Oh, that's a nice train. I've never been on a train like this before. I've only been on the light rail. And I'm pretty sure the light rail, like the minimum requirement to even get Solution. on is to like be a serious Solution. drug addict. Solution. Oh, I guess we made it. Oh no, those tracks we didn't go over. Nice crib. I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. Yeah, Davey, you really wouldn't have told like, so jumped all, did, like a lot depressed. of jumping to figure out like what's your homie's problem, dude. Maybe he just likes making prisons. Maybe. And it's okay to just like making some one one type of weird shit. But you know. Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. Mm -hmm. They'll hate you. This is such a weird concept for a game. Like, I don't know what the... F is this actually like an I'm sorry or like an I love you note or something? Such a weird... F oh, man, I'm fucking trapped. Oh, they took my fucking kidney. Y'all remember Charlie the Unicorn? And we're back running again. What am I in? Oh my god, what is this? I like the Dark souls -y kind of music just playing in the background. If I knew that my life strumming. depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? Oh, I see white. <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm in between two people beefing. I'm just like, Mom, Dad, please stop fighting. Like, <laughs> I've... <laughs> I'm in just an awkward position, you know? I think I need to go. Oh. And I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. 
I have a lot that I need to make up for. And mm. So I'm just gonna. It's all okay. good, man. Do you, you, do you? I'm, I'm good. I'll find my way. I fucking guess. <laughs> oh look, I'm in Egypt. Not, not just regular Egypt. I'm in like Kingdom Hearts Egypt. You guys remember this shit? Or Agrabah? Sorry. I'm in fucking Agrabah. They get to start flying around on like little Keyblade hovercraft. But I just have to walk everywhere like a peasant. Hmm. Yep, Geronimo. Broken legs. Well, I should probably get out of here. It would be kind of funny. Knowing the knowing these two people as far as game devs, I feel like if I stayed in here and I let it squish me up there, it would stop anyway. I wouldn't even be able to get up there. Hmm. Yep, and it stopped. What a surprise. Okay. So am I just oh wait, I'm back in the train station. Huh. Full circle, huh? I thought this was- I thought the tower one was his last game. Why am I here now? Or maybe this is still the same tower. No, I took a train. That's not possible. Oh! I see something over there. Man, what I wouldn't give for a sprint button right now. Or, I don't know, my goddamn tour guide that just bounced on me. What the fuck? I'm super on edge because I've been playing Lethal Company, which has been really fun, by the way. Oops. You guys see why this game is, like, narcoleptic? Like, it's putting me to sleep because everything is so, like, not, like, active. It's so, it's so lulling. Oh, wait, I have to jump on this again. Blech. Oh, I'm floating up again. It's the same glitch. Eh. Uh, was that the end? Oh, this goddamn maze. Oh, it's all a maze. No! All the paths lead to one point, though. What point it becomes like gibberish and not actual mazes? Just going to space, I guess. That's how all things happen. You just die and go to space, I guess. No, okay. That's a really nice sight. Gotta give you that. Coda, who, I don't know, made all of the game, basically? <laughs> this was... <laughs> this was Jump Around Coda Simulator. <laughs> Coda's Game Simulator. I think? I don't know if that was, like, a metaphor. I don't know what's real anymore, dude. And you are so Additional thanks. Wow, he actually not gonna fucking thank his boy for the whole game. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure what I need to take away from this. I think, um, 
I, I think, uh, I, I guess it's trying to convey, be happy with your work. I think, um, I, I, it seems like you can very easily work yourself to hating the one thing that you love if you don't, you know, pace it and, you know, do things on your time, do things at your leisure. If you try to pander to what people want, hey, make more games, do more this, do more that. Um, it, it's only it's only a matter of time until you're worn out and ready to fucking jump off of 23 blocks in Minecraft. So, I mean, I get that. But if I'm being honest, <laughs> if I'm being honest here, I, uh, <laughs> I don't really think I learned anything from this. I think... Um, it's not a bad game, it's just, did I need to pay $10 to hear these, the, I, I guess this guy is weird, uh, I, I guess, fixation on his homie's games? No. But, um, I mean, I guess it gave me a little bit different insight, which is nice on content creation, that it's very easy to burn out but I don't think it fixed any of my <laughs> problems. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Or, that's today, so I'm going to be live in, like, 30 minutes, so see you then. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess, I guess... For a more deeper, I guess, look onto it, I would say it's probably trying to convey to be proud of your work, don't do something because someone else is asking you. Do it because you want to and do it how you want to do it. Um, it's very easy to get caught up in just pandering, just pandering to everyone else. Just do what you got to do for you. And whether people love it or not, whether it gets spread or not, just do it for you and it won't become rigid and stale and bad, I guess. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that was Beginner's Guide, so if you guys didn't want to pay for it, I know I wouldn't if I were you, but, you know, I got you in case you, you didn't want to pay for it but wanted to maybe listen to the game with some mildly funny co uh, commentary. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the Twitch stream Monday, Tuesday, I don't know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 9 p.m. MST. See y'all there. Playing Lethal Company if you want to join. 14 players last time. Let's try and get all 40 next time, right? Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.